to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley and today we have a beautiful Mercedes Roadster for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, click the bell to turn the notifications on, and make sure and check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this car, autohouseinaples.com. All right, so we have a really beautiful and super well-maintained car for everyone today. It's a 1998 Mercedes SLK 230 convertible. I love the color on this one. It's finished in a real stunning, brilliant silver exterior is the name. And the interior is going to be a black and gray two-toned interior. You've got your Mercedes-Benz emblem. And then up front, I really love this grill. It's very unique and you don't see it on many other cars. You've got these kind of like dots or polka dots, I don't know. Lights look as great as they do, but that's probably because this car is so special, only has 16,400 miles on it. This car is 24 years old and it has only 16,000 miles on it, so super low miles. Um, it's in really great shape. And these wheels up front, you're gonna have 16 inch wheels. The tires on the front are gonna be Michelin tires. And these are 205-55ZR16s. Really great shape overall. I love the look of these alloy wheels. They're uh, very simple on the back and the front. Um, just a real sleek, simple look with all the silver and it's real nice. You've got um, your lights, or not your lights, your mirrors are in good condition and you've got your compressor badging right here and so that is going to mean that it is a supercharged engine which is real awesome we'll get into that in a minute but no dings on the side the paint is in absolutely phenomenal condition it's insane to think that this is really a 98 because it's in such great shape on the back here again you're going to have michelin tires these ones are 22550 zr16s I really like these cars, you know, they're just designed really well. It's this compact luxury roadster. This is the first generation of the SLK. Uh, there's about three generations now, but this generation lasted from 96 to 2004. But they're, they're real, I don't know, they're just such great looking cars and they are so compact. Back here, the tail lights are in really great shape as well, just like the front, no fogging or hazing really great shape overall only have to worry about a bug in our way so on the back you have your badging your slk 230 badging and then you're also gonna have your mercedes emblem it's just such a very simple car and it's just i don't know i don't want to keep saying sleek but it, it really is so let's pop the trunk just push that in open that up what i really love about these is you have a very good sized trunk your space is really nice. You got your CD changer back here. Um, but you have so much space back here, especially with the top um, up, you have a lot more space. Then all you're gonna have to do is pull this up and lock that into space or into place. But then if you look underneath here, you still have like quite a bit of space. I mean, it's not the most spacious, but this section right here is um, pretty nice overall because it goes down deeper. And then you got your spare underneath there as well. So that's real nice. You got a little handle right here to pull the trunk down. Perfect. And then on the back, same wheels and tires, but I just real, really like the look of this with these hard top convertibles. You know, it's gonna be similar to an SL, but what's nice about these are they're gonna be almost 20 inches shorter than an SL and 1200 pounds lighter than an SL. So let me pop the hood for everyone. See that? See if I can get on the first try too. Perfect. All right, and just look at how clean that is. It's insane. This 
car is just so clean inside and out, underneath the hood, everything. This is a 2.3 liter supercharged inline four. It's gonna give you 185 horsepower, zero to 16, about 6.9 seconds. 6.9 seconds. Yep, top speed 149 miles per hour. Really great shape. I love you got all, you got your stickers on here and everything, you got your Mercedes stickers. Over there, the engine too, you got that red compressor. Um, just, I don't know, it actually looks like a really neat engine bay. Um, I just really like it. I, I think it looks really clean. It's even the design underneath the engine bay is pretty nice. You got your red accents and everything like that. Close that up. So now for the interior. Let's just see it first before I hop in there. So you have this gray and black two-tone interior and it's just so striking. You've got this um, contrast stitching on all of the black, which really makes it pop. Um, it's the, just the right amount of this two-tone interior, like your seats, the centers are the gray, but on the outside you have that black. And then the whole design continues throughout on your dash and uh, that area, it's gray, but it's also black. Your steering wheel, it's all black with a little bit of gray. It's really beautiful. Um, inside here. One thing too on the door panel, you've got this little pocket which is really nice. You've got quite a bit of space there. I also like you've got um, just kind of like a little kick, what do you call it? Like skid guard? I can't think of the name. Just a, a door sill. There? Door sill? Sure, whatever you want to call it. But you got the aluminum with the rubber studs on it and if you look down at the pedals as well, you're gonna have those same aluminum and rubber studs down there which on, you know, more current Mercedes models, that's normally only available on like sport models and things like that. So I think that's really nice as well. So let's start it up and then we can do the, get the top down. Get a better look. All right. anything like that so inside here you've got a you know still that really sleek interior you're gonna have your instrument cluster I like that the backing on it is like this kind of white cream color instead of a lot of them now are black um, it looks really nice and simple you've got all your gauges that you need right there and then of course we've got the uh, total miles on the car 16,476 over here, you're gonna have just your very simple interior. You're gonna have your cup holders right here. Two of those, those are kind of nice. If you don't need them, they're pretty far out of the way. And then you do have dual temp in here, which is really nice. And then you got all the different settings right there. I really like this interior because it's just simple. It's got all you need, but not too much extra stuff. Then here you got your radio cassette if anybody still has a few of those laying around anywhere down here you have another little compartment right there that's a good size coin pouch actually if that's what you're going to use it for like that and then here you've got your um your phone screen your phone computer so that's going to go hand in hand with that bad boy don't know if anyone's gonna use that, but it's really cool that it's still got all the original features like that. You've got your original phone. That was an upgrade um, originally when purchasing the car to get the phone added in here. So that's really nice that so you got the factory upgraded phone in here. You've got two buttons for your windows. You've got your shift knob right there. Very simple in here. And then of course you've got your convertible top button right there. Nice and easy. And then you've got little ashtray area nice and clean and then just showed you that little compartment but one thing that I really like too is you've got this little pocket back here you've got quite a bit of space in there um, it'd be nice just to throw like your books or even if you want to put your registration in there and then you can have this whole 
box open and you can have extra space in here. I really like the SLKs have good space in their glove boxes and it's kind of cool. It drops down. It's, it's kind of unique, but I really like that you got quite a bit of space in there because it's not the most spacious car, but at least you have more space in here than other cars. And then again, you got the pocket over there, but overall it's in really great shape. Guess it's time to go for a test drive. Safety first. compact convertible make sure and check it out on our website autohasanaples.com and let us help you drive your dream